Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to be removing the stock muffler on my 2020 Wrangler JL Eco Diesel and replacing it with this. The MBRP 3 inch high clearance filter back rear turn down pipe. I'm not sponsored by MBRP. I paid for this part with my own money. I forgot exactly who I ordered it from. It's gonna take a few minutes to put in, hopefully. The whole reason I'm changing it out is I'd like to get a little more aggressive sound out of my Jeep. What you get when this arrives in the mail is the pipe that's preformed to go into the stock location, the hanger that uses the stock hanger on the Jeep that the old muffler uses. You get a clamp to clamp it on the end here, match up the two pipes. Set of instructions, it's a pretty simple job. Supposedly it takes 20 to 30 minutes once you get into it. You also get this, it's not exactly a sticker from MBRP. It's kind of like a, a real thick label a little high quality and you can see by my garage studio man cave here that I, I like stickers so we'll figure out somewhere to put this that's what we get in the box let's get on with the install if you're finding value in the video hit that thumbs up button give me a like think about subscribing that really helps out and leave a comment down below thanks for watching the eco diesel Jeep comes with this stock boxy looking muffler the night before I sprayed the muffler hangers and the bolt holding the pipe clamp with WD-40 so they'd be easier to remove. You can see the one rubber muffler hanger here. This one will be reused by the new pipe. Spraying the bolt with WD-40 on the pipe clamp, the impact motor had no problem removing the nut. The WD-40 also soaked into the pipe connection so it came off very easily. The stock pipe clamp on the muffler system is actually spot welded onto the back of the pipe so you cannot remove it. With the clamp loose all I had to do was take a pry bar to pry the rubber hanger off the muffler and the muffler wiggled itself right out. The muffler came off a lot easier than I thought. It had a lot to do I guess with pre-oiling or pre-lubricating uh, the rubber gaskets or rubber uh, hangers and the joint up here, I put the rubber hanger back up there where it's going to go. Uh, this clamp came off very easy that was sitting right here. This was the other hanger's location right here. Um, it came off nice and easy. Now that I got the old exhaust off, I'm ready to put the new one on. There's a couple things I wanted to check before I did that. So I got my scale here and I got the parts right here. So I got a steel piece of pipe here. I thought that this I thought that this extension pipe on this off of this muffler was stainless too. It has a kind of a kind of look to it. Steel also. Um, sometimes a low grade of stainless will still be magnetic. It hasn't rusted on at all. Some harsh conditions, it hasn't rusted on at all. Even the clamp, clamp is steel also. Guess I'm not gonna worry about it. Like this is gonna work like this. It's gonna hang just like that. 4.96 pounds. See how much weight we're saving because weight savings on a Jeep, always critical. 12.41 pounds. Here's the new exhaust. Plenty of heat shield up there now. There's the bolt snugged up, nice and tight. Clamp fits in here real good. Now we'll turn the car on and see how much difference it makes in the sound at idle. Well, I don't notice any difference in the sound. I don't know how much muffling that muffler was doing. It might be just a box, the old stock muffler but there's definitely not much difference in sound. We'll take it for a drive and see. Definitely I'm not uh, hearing too much difference now. We'll take it for a drive and see what it sounds like out on the road. And hopefully we don't get any, any check engine lights or anything like that. Well, I've gone for a drive now in the Jeep with the muffler removed and the MBRP pipe put in place of it. I didn't notice any difference in the sound. 
I'll have to try it out along the trail, put the camera down next to the trail like I have before and gotten some good diesel sound, see if there's really any noticeable difference that way. Uh, the other thing is, too, is it's I've saved all the old muffler because I may end up having to put that back on if, if the state of California decides that this MBRP doesn't work out. I'm not sure what they're going to say. I'll find out next time I go for my, my smog check. But but um, anyways, it's a cooler, neater looking deal. That boxy muffler looked kind of weird. And if you have an Eco Diesel and you are thinking about switching out, um, the MBRP fits on perfectly. It takes a couple minutes to put on, a few minutes. Uh, it's a piece of cake job, no problem. Um, don't be afraid to go ahead and do it. I don't have any check engine lights, that's cool. And I haven't really driven that far, so we'll find out later. But anyhow, hopefully it all works out. And I thank you for joining me here on the channel. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, I'll see you on the next one. And the best is yet to come.